How much water should be in a water softener brine tank? Water softener brine tanks take in water to make brine to regenerate the water softener. But how much water should be in there? Should you be adding some water? Should you be removing some? Maybe there's no water in there at all. Well, today I'm gonna to explain exactly how much water should be in your brine tank starting right now. Hi, I'm John from The Water E-Store and I help simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for you and your family. Whether you're a do-it-yourself homeowner or a plumber or a water filtration expert, this video is for you. Knowing how these things work would be really beneficial going forward in this video. We've got a link in the description below to a great YouTube video on how a water softener works. Basically, what happens is the water goes into a brine tank where there's already salt. That water touches the salt, absorbs it, and that's what's used to regenerate the media inside the water softener. The water softener based on its settings determines how much water goes into the brine. Pre-fill water softeners. You need to keep a number of things in mind to determine what water level should be inside your water softener. Big box store water softeners, like the kind you see at Home Depot, Lowe's, Costco, and places like that are what are called pre-fill water softeners. What that means is when they finish their regeneration cycle, they put no water in with the salt. It's when the cycle starts that they start putting in the water. So it's 100% normal for those to have no salt in them whatsoever. We've got a great YouTube video that talks a little bit about that and we'll put a link in the description below. Efficiency. The efficiency level of a water softener also makes a huge difference in terms of the water level inside of it. If you have a high efficiency water softener like a Water Boss or an Aquamaster, they use very little salt to regenerate. The water level inside that water softener is only two or three inches. If you've got a standard efficiency water softener like our Hume Clack Valve water softener, it needs more salt to regenerate. So the water level in there could be quite high. Depending on the salt level that you have inside your brine tank, if your salt level is significantly higher than what the water level is, you may not be able to see any water at all, but it's there at the bottom. The water settings. The water softener settings actually determine how much water ends up in the brine tank. In other words, the size of the water softener play a role. The water softener settings actually determine how much water ends up in the brine tank. Factors such as how hard your water is and the capacity of your water softener play a large role. If you have very hard water and a large group of people living in one location and you use a lot of water, then your water softener will be a a much larger water softener than a standard high efficiency unit. Because they are larger water softeners, they also need more brine to regenerate. As a result, there's going to be a lot more water in there absorbing that salt to make brine. You have to realize that a gallon of water absorbs about three pounds of salt. With a water softener that uses almost nine pounds per regeneration, you're gonna to have to have three gallons of water in there. But with a water softener for Aquamaster, for example, it only uses two and a half pounds of salt to regenerate. As you can see in the older style analog type water Water softeners that use 12 or 15 pounds of salt per regeneration, there's going to be a whole lot more water in there than there will be with an Aquamaster or Water Boss high efficiency water softener. Now, if you suddenly have a lot of water inside your brine tank that you've never had before, better check out the link in the description below in our water softener troubleshooting guide. There's lots of great information there and it'll definitely help you out. For my next video on water softeners, click over here and I'll see you there.